Infowars.com and nightly news reporter Joe Biggs joins us in 30 minutes. He's on the ground. He flew up there early this morning and he's now there. North of Chicago, 50 miles north of Chicago, there at Fox Lake, where the uh, veteran police officer, Lieutenant, was shot and killed yesterday morning, part of the ongoing epidemic of police being killed in cold blood. He'll be joining us at the bottom of this hour. Then Dr. Edward Group with the most important information he's ever covered. I, I, I wanted to get him up here this week to cover some other issues that we'll get to as well. And he said, I want to cover what's more deadly and bigger than GMO and what the whole GMO fight is distracting from. And as soon as he said it, I went, absolutely. I knew that. I've seen the mainstream articles. I've seen the government reports, the medical studies, but haven't talked about it enough. This is big. What we're going to be discussing in the second hour today, and then we'll have open phones uh, in the third hour. Coming up, Obama prophesies climate nightmare, famine, floods, fire, fumes, and fighting. Not from economic collapse run by the big mega banks, not from race war started by the Ford Foundation, George Soros and the White House, Media Matters and others, MSNBC. No, not from the genetic engineering of the crops, not from the geoengineering of the climate. No, you didn't pay carbon taxes to the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, Obama and Al Gore that all sit on the exchange boards of the Chicago Mercantile and the London Exchange of Carbon. You pay them money or the earth's doomed. That ties into this EU migrant crisis, trains, ships, the tunnel, all shut down. Eurostar passengers wait 16 hours, as Cameron says, UK shouldn't take more refugees. Millions pouring in a year. Hundreds of thousands a month into Europe. 160 plus thousand illegals on one tiny island in a month in Greece showed up to the island of Lesbos. One German town of a thousand now has 2,000 illegals in it in one week. And it's only intensifying. You wake up and there's 2,000 people in your tiny town and they want everything free. And they're crapping on the sidewalk. They're mugging your wife. And they're there with the left right behind them saying, you, you house these people in your house, you scumbag European. You are inherently a bad person and you're going to pay for all this and you're going to bankroll it. When the very same elite pushing the open borders then says, well, we bombed Africa and the Middle East. And so it's our fault. We got to take them. You did. Those wars were unpopular. They were a fraud. We're captured. And Obama's opened our borders up to refugees as well. This is a planetary takedown. And the Pope says, we haven't accepted enough illegals and paid for everything, and that we should repent and say our prayers to the Papa. Pray to the Papa. The Papa says pray, kiss his ring, and he will forgive you. Jesus will forgive you. He has the keys to both temporal power and spiritual power, and he says you'll be okay. Uh, Pope, did you pray and ask forgiveness that you didn't take the hundreds of thousands of African migrants pouring in? Every six months or so into Italy, they're all over the streets of Rome and all over the streets of Naples and just running around mugging people and sleeping under trees uh, and begging everywhere. Did, did you take them inside your big 30-foot walls with the armed guards with submachine guns? Did you take them? No, you didn't, Papa. What a sick New World Order puppet. You can say what you want about the Catholic Church. Its fruits have varied throughout history. But let me tell you, this Pope is no Pope at all. This is like having Fidel Castro at the Vatican. Of course, Fidel Castro doesn't take uh, refugees from anywhere in Latin America. They shoot you if you do. But that's okay. He's got a big beard. He's a communist. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Wednesday, the second day of September 2015. I am your host, Alex Jones. We're going to break down an investigative report in the second hour detailing what is even a bigger threat than GMOs and vaccinations, a bigger threat than additives, a bigger threat than bisphenol A and glyphosate. 
I concur with our guest analysis that this is the new big threat that's actually been taking place for a decade. And we're going to raise the awareness and the consciousness of this so that action can be taken. And the good news is this radio slash TV transmission and other similar formats that are outside the political control box are more and more forcing real issues into the public mind and are beginning to take control of the debate. You can see that on so many fronts. People don't believe the establishment. They're running from the establishment in droves. It is a badge of honor to be censored and persecuted and attacked by the system. Because as Mahatma Gandhi said, first they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they attack you, then you win. And we are in the attack phase right now, but quite frankly, we're also beginning to go into the winning phase. And of course, in a complex world with thousands of different fights going on, some things are in the laugh at you phase, the ignore you phase, the attack you phase, or the winning phase. It's a mix of those, but more and more, we're moving into the attack phase and the win phase. We're winning on some fronts. We're being laughed at on some fronts. Uh, we are in the attack phase on others, and it's an epic, historical time to be alive. Thank you so much for joining us. Joe Biggs will be joining us at the bottom of the hour from Fox Lake, Illinois, a suburb of Chicago, Second City. Three cops murdered in less than a week. Another officer is found slaughtered in his Texas home amid growing safety fears and a manhunt for the Illinois cop killers who got away. We'll be breaking that down. And Joe is there on the ground. We talked to him 15 minutes ago. He said a lot of the door-to-door -door has been suspended, but that's not been announced in the news yet. But Joe heard the police actually talking about it. He's got a lot of video he shot since he got on the ground an hour ago. And uh, they just got announced. Again, a homicide suspected in an off-duty Texas officer's death in his home. Uh, we have another cop shot, of course, in Houston over the weekend. We have the TV reporter and the cameraman killed. And much of it is black on white uh, activity. With Louis Farrakhan, we played the clip yesterday saying it's time to go out and start killing people that are killing us. And that ties into the different radio shows uh, that are out there uh, where folks are calling for the murder of police officers. A very, very dangerous precedent. The articles on Infowars.com with the audio and video. Kill whites and cops, close quote. Black Lives Matter affiliated radio show calls for race war. By the way, this is based out of Texas. This was done. It's about to go down. It's open season on killing white people and crackers. Well, you know, uh, it was uh, the drugged out, mentally ill white supremacist a few months ago that killed nine innocent black people in Charleston, South Carolina. And he said he wanted to start a race war. And, of course, the White House wants to start one as well. And Sheriff Rich, uh, David Clark and others have pointed that out. We've pointed that out, of course, at nauseum. And they're having some success. This is truly sickening. And it's despicable. And the people getting away with it. You know, I used to hear Hal, Hal Turner, a prominent white supremacist who attacked me basically every time he was on the radio and called for folks to come after me. For no reason other than the fact that I really am anti-establishment, really trying to change things. And I said, there's no way he's allowed to call for killing judges and killing people and attacking minorities if he wasn't a federal informant or probably a high-level national security asset of the Southern Poverty Law Center or ADL. But he's definitely with the FBI. When that began to come out in court, hackers hit his computers, released the info, and uh, right after it came out that he was FBI, which was later confirmed, they indicted him for his statements, which they admit he was authorized to make. So they even set up their own people. And Hal Turner didn't believe a word of what he was saying. Turner's probably a fake name. But certainly didn't even look like he was, uh, you know, this big Anglo-Saxon uh, he claimed he was. So 
This is the type of stuff going on behind the scenes. And we know Black Lives Matter is White House and Ford Foundation and George Soros funded. We know Hillary's involved with her staffers. Nancy Pelosi is involved running major groups and putting out the talking points. This shows how cold-bloodedly evil these people are. Now, that said, we're going to get into a video after we cover abortion, because all this ties together, from KSAT out of San Antonio. We have the unedited video of a fatal deputy-involved shooting. And it shows a guy kind of running around in a yard, pointing his finger. He puts his hands up, and then the cops, clearly, one officer shoots him and kills him. We've enhanced the video because it's shot from about 70, 80 yards away. And I don't see him with a knife in his hand. I don't see anything. We're going to play this video uh, coming up. And they put a huge bug right over it, which is just ridiculous. But whatever, we're playing it fair use to document this. And they shoot him in the in the chest, in the torso, and, and, and kill him. And the cop just, his body language acts like he could care less. And they're just having an ex you know, excited manhunt or something. And the police department, sheriff's department came out and criticized KSAT, ABC News 2, for releasing this. We're going to play the enhanced video now, if you're a TV viewer, saying that it, it, it hurts the officers who haven't been charged yet. Well, you know what? It's America. You got your surveillance cameras everywhere. And who knows what story you were going to put out before this came out. But his arms, his hands are clearly up. And they kill him. And he looks like what I call a white Hispanic. A lot of Hispanics identify as white. As far as I'm concerned, they look like they're white. I mean, Spain, Spain is European. And the whole point is, if this was a black person, you would probably already have riots going on over this. And that's because you've got the White House in there stirring everything up because they've doubled black unemployment. They're screwing black people over. They're targeting them with abortions. But if they get up there and act like they're racially aligned with black folks, they'll continue to stay on the globalist plantation, the globalist reservation. But here's what I'm getting at. Whether it's that homeless white guy being executed in Albuquerque and the cops laughing about it, or whether it's the cops executing this guy in San Antonio, there are some dangerous mentally ill people on police forces that have no business being ushers at a movie theater much less executing you know, deadly force on people. But if you look at what happened in Albuquerque, the cop that did the first shooting has been indicted and looks like he's going to serve prison time. But in San Antonio, they execute Gilbert Flores Jr. in his middle-class neighborhood, kill him deader than a hammer, all because it looks like the cop is trigger happy and is so afraid and so ready to pull the trigger that he's the type of guy that would be deer hunting and would shoot a neighbor's cow over the fence line thinking it was a deer. We've all taken people hunting, if we're hunters, who you learn have no business hunting because you'll hear all this shooting 20 minutes after you put them on the deer stand and you get there and they're just shooting blindly at the bushes or whatever. And those type of people do not need to be police officers. Now, that said, I'm going to tie all this together when we come back. There is new Planned Parenthood video. I guess this is like the ninth video that's been released where a company that specializes in getting intact babies makes the little joke, oh, the babies just fall out on the floor and then we can excise their organs a lot better. Now, that's what I told you before all this came out because I've aired documentaries before on my local TV show and covered it with the experts, footage shot in the 90s, where insiders admitted that they would commit crimes. I'm going to skip this network break. It's, it's, this is too important talking about the babies. I'm not going to stop right here. Thank you. They would take the babies out, have the mother drugged, have a sheet up in front of her, push her out of the room, and then they would very quietly take the baby over, keep it alive. In some cases, if it's like an eight-month, they can really make hundreds of thousands. 
The word is they'll even put them on life support, like China.